Here's a recap on how this works. We watch movies that I have seen that are classics that I have not seen. Woohoo! So we are watching with the beginner's eyes. Yeah. Here we go. Just grab your popcorn, grab your blankets, and let's watch the fly. Ah! Haley, what are we eating tonight? I have prepared salmon and vegetables, the normal standard for what we eat every night, with balsamic vinegar. Woo! watching The Fly tonight. <laughs> My initial knowledge. Again, like every other movie, um, I don't really know much about it, but I keep thinking it's that one movie, the Cocoon movie, and I think it's called Cocoon. Okay, well, if there's a movie named Cocoon, I think it's that movie. Cocoon, <laughs> what happens in Cocoon? Thinking, like, they all get cocooned, I think. Also, I'm scared that it's gonna like actually turn into that Franz Kafka story. What? Metamorphosis, where the guy turns into a bug cockroach thing and he lives in his room and crawls all over the walls and stuff. What is that? Franz Kafka. Kafka. Is that a movie? We, it's a story. What is Franz Kafka? He's a guy. He's a, a poem, a writer, a Okay, so he, it's a story. It's a he story. wrote. Yes. He wrote a, sto a story. Yes. It was during our um, learning about existentialism. Is Franz Kafka famous? Yes, he is Kafka. Wow, I'm proud of my sister. I hope people don't turn into flies, and I don't know how literal it is, and yeah. What do you think it's about? Well, I'm also thinking about Alien, the movie Alien, which I've never really seen either. Haley did let it slip, one of the people that's in it, sadly, because she sucks. Just kidding. Um, I do, but, but... but... She did let it slip because she, we were excited and we were talking about the fly and just that we're watching it, and then she let Jeffy Jeff Goldblum slip out of her mouth. <laughs> it's okay. Cha, cha. Let's do it. Okay, let's go, let's go. David, do you recognize that name, Abby? No, I don't. I don't know much, but I know that's a name. <laughs> the Fly. It looks kind of old, huh? Yeah, but good. Jeffy! Jeff! Whoa. Gina Davis? I actually don't know who that is. Okay. I sat next to her on a movie set to get my makeup done. Oh, really? John Getz? Don't know that. Howard Shore! I know that! Lord of the Rings, all the epics. So I don't, I haven't listened to the, the Fly score or know if it's memorable, so now I'm excited. I mean, he's like iconic. When was the last time you saw this? Like, so long ago. Mom showed it to me and I was disturbed. Oh! Okay, and I think Jeff Goldblum is hotter. Ah! <laughs> that is so funny. He looks like a different race. Yes! That is so weird. They had a tour in Love Affair in real life. Oh! Facts, facts. Is that a foreshadow? Oh, foreshadow. I hate vehicles. Ew! I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. Is he gonna turn into a bug and get s a fly? Fly hates vehicles because flies hit the windshield and splat. Oh my god! What if? <laughs> the practical effects in this Abby are so oh. good. It looks better than a Marvel movie. No, What's their relationship? Be... Okay, we kind of missed the beginning, but I think that he just is targeting her. Or oh, there was a technology fair, I think. Look at that thing. Yeah. That's like something I'd find at the prop house. Yeah. Personal? Willy Wonka's drink well, machine. Do something you need for you. <laughs> Mine with clothing or jewelry. Here it comes. Oh. What? That was cool. He tricked us. Oh, wait. Oh. <gasps> yeah. She's coming on to Jeffrey Goldblum. I don't know why I keep... Saying Jeffy. <laughs> Teleportation machine! <laughs> Willy Shronka. Willy Shronka. Great. 
His like weird oh, his teeth got sexy over time. <laughs> So, if he's a scientist, which I didn't know, he's gonna turn himself into a fly on accident. <laughs> Teleportation will never be real. You don't think so? Never. Just the thing from Huey Mandel. How can I to keep this quiet? But then you can't. You can't move atoms. You can do this alone. You get a computer's thinking. AI. Yeah, I don't know. Did you ever think that would happen? I never thought FaceTime would happen. That door is like the door for my Carly. We only talk about um, critically acclaimed films from before. Flat, flat, flat building. Architecture. I have a question. You know how they're a science magazine? Uh-huh. Do you think this guy would be so like, no, he's not doing oh. that. Oh, Haley, he looks so different. I know, uh, so strange. I hope I can see some cool mansions in this movie. Ooh, like in 70s, 80s mansions? Yeah, with the glass that's square. So, so, ah! She flushed it. Whoa! Those room things were like a thing. I wonder why. What, uh, the dividers? Or yeah. Behind him? Yeah. And look at the little lamp, it's like what's in right now. Well, oh, look at the twisted tree. I like the pillar. Yeah. Oh! oh! Why did he get a monkey? I have a good question. Barco Industries. Why, why did he do it with a, a monkey? tell yeah and that's what I could tell but that's also what happens when you try to teleport things did you know that <laughs> yeah that was horrible I actually didn't even look one time it's really sad huh yeah and the sound it's like pulsating because he's inside out what did it look like That was sad, but it's okay, it's fake. I did feel like puking. Though. No, these are clean. Did you feel sad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about myself. Puking. Whoa, a uniform, Abby. Like Carl Lagerfelder. Do you like him already? Well, she already gave him his, her stocking. <laughs> Not her stocking. I'm surprised he's not saying no. Right? Oh my God, look at him! Flesh! That's, that's Jeff Goldblum's flesh! Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh my uh. <laughs> Ow, ow, my back! <laughs> he pulls out a dagger! <laughs> okay. Is that how he becomes a fly? Transfer the steak. It's not alive, but it's still organisms. Oh my gosh, Haley. So it's the flesh that makes it the not transfer? What's in the flesh that technology don't Because this don't doesn't like? have any skin. Yeah. Versus a finger. Bones? What if he, they need to try a dead animal? Yeah, sister. It worked. Oh, they're eating it? Yeah, it worked. Abby, that's cool. I thought they were cooking at the same time. Yeah, that was a cool transition. That was cool that you knew. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Wow, look at that space. Yeah, look at that space. It's not a mansion, but it is a space. Gina Davis has a crush. Gina Davis has a crush. Are you having entertainment? I am having entertainment. I want to figure out what this fly is. Don't say anything. I'm not. You've been, you've been I feel like, scarily close to saying something. She went shopping. Oh, no! God! I think that, like, they're not gonna do it to us again yet. I think, I think. 
Is it just gonna be f Don't be blood. What's wrong with it? They have a soul. Where did it go? Oh. What? I mean, that's a real monkey. Yeah, it's real. It would be fake nowadays. Yeah, it'd be stupid CGI, stupid. Maybe that's good though, because monkey, monkey, don't, actor is abusive. Yeah, I see your point. Is that the tower from Die Hard? <laughs> Was this a Ronnie game? Oh! Yeah. Is, did you just copy his face? <laughs> oh. But he didn't die in vain. Ah! Fly! Oh my god, I forgot what this movie's about! Stop! As the general said, there's nothing I'd ask you to do that I wouldn't do myself, boys. He couldn't be left to Wait. his own devices. Please let go. Hey, you're alright. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> did they get a real fly? How are they doing this? He's a good actor. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh! Prediction! Prediction! Oh, prediction! Hey, Chase, we're pausing, we're pausing. Prediction, the fly was just attacking the monkey and the, we don't even see the fly. The fly is in the monkey's head thing, or hair, sorry, and then they're gonna go teleport the monkey again and then something's gonna happen with the fly. Oh my god. I don't know what. Like, is it gonna morph with the monkey or. That's what I have to say. Not so eloquently, but I said it. You said it pretty eloquently. Oh, he's tired oh. of the cushion. Oh my god, look at that monkey. He's just cool. Fly! Fuck. Bah. Oh, what? Jess? I don't know, Jeff, what's going in it? It's gonna merge the atoms. He shouldn't be left to his own devices. <laughs> uh. Is he gonna notice? Is he gonna be freaked out? Does he know it's bad? Nothing's gonna happen right away, but he's gonna start noticing things. That's what I'm This is why it's so fun to watch with and virgin eyes. Oh! Wow, he's sexy. Can you tell me? Wait, did he get like stronger? Am I different somehow? Like Spider Man? Is it life or is it memory? No, I don't think so. He was left to his own devices. Why did he do that? Yeah, he doesn't know how the brain waves are gonna teleport. What are you doing? <sighs> He's stupid for that one. He knows better. Yeah, what a dumb son. I don't know. Scientists are pretty scienty. They might just be like, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> you thought they were gonna chase a monkey fly? Well, I thought. I was wondering what was going to happen with that because it can't be a monkey fly thing, but I thought the monkey was going in with the fly and the, like, the fly was going to get large or something. I still could. Oh! He had a cut on him. That has to play into something. Flesh. Cut in the flesh. Oh! Like maybe that opened up the atoms more? Yeah, it like opened up so then the fly morphed into his back skin that was cut open. Yeah. Something. Yeah, because that never got explained. He said, ow. Oh, gosh. I think that he got sexier. That he was dweeby before. Well, we haven't seen him without his... True. They took a break and he got... He worked out for this. Filming? Yeah. Or they just extra d made him dumpy. I got you. His hair looks different. Yeah, okay, I see. Seth, you don't have to be jealous. 
No, that was, did, you, did you see what was coming out? I mean, it? yeah, but I was still thinking it healed fast. Yeah, that was really gross, Abby, because you know what word we hate? Grow. Grow. What the, uh, he's growing. The movie made Jeff hotter now and stronger like Spider-Man. I know we didn't see him fully shirtless. Or not, Sp uh, well, yeah, Spider-Man, but Captain America. Yeah, I don't remember that one. Uh, they like used a body double. Oh yeah, he was all gross and little beginning. and yeah. disgusting. <laughs> oh my gosh, Haley. <laughs> Do you remember Spider-Man? I mean, she doesn't. That's why she's being silly, quiet over there. Well, I remember, like, yeah, he he's a nerd, and then he doesn't need these glasses anymore. Okay, well, the next morning he wakes up and he has like muscles and stuff. Well, yeah, he's in his bedroom. He's like, huh, huh, yeah. and then he slides down the stair well, stairs. Whoa, that's hard to do. Whoa, that's pretty hard to do. I did that today. You did that today? Kind of something like it I meant to show you. Wait. What would you do if you saw your boyfriend doing this in the middle of the night? <laughs> um, and then after he teleported? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he started doing Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. If he started doing this without the whole teleportation, like he wasn't a scientist. Yeah. I don't know, laugh a lot. Yeah, it'd be quite cute. But like also you would, like you can't do that unless you're an Olympian. Flies, I'm confused though. Like flies, are flies strong? Like, you know. You haven't seen their biceps? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they pick up a lot of poop. They poop when they land everywhere. Oh my God, was he gonna start pooping everywhere? No. And then if it was like, if I was her and this was all happening, I would probably be like, holy crap, it gave you Superman powers. And then I'd be freaking out. Yeah. And then I would probably be like, mommy, what if something else happens? Cause he's already strong in night one. On night one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, my thought process. Mom, it's day two, it's day one. And I'm a wee bit worried. <laughs> I'm a wee bit worried. <laughs> They're doing sex. Oh gosh, it sounded like bad. God. Oh God. Ah! Oh. Hey. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. hair. It's like my one chin hair. Ew. Abby, that's so gross. He's growing like little feet. Or fur. Yeah, fur. He looks disgusting now. He had one sexy day. Uh-uh. Is... Ah! <laughs> Tidy whitey. A little different Jeffy. than his Jurassic Park pose. Oh my gosh, you know there's a huge statue in like Switzerland or something? What? Yeah. Okay, oh, I want to know about that. Hey, hey, hey. Ew, is she gonna pluck it? <gasps> Why is she gonna cut it like that, guys? <sighs> They're really tough. Uh, does he feel it? Does it? Okay. Prediction check-in time. So he's growing prongs <laughs> out of his back. I'm really scared that he's gonna start flying around. <laughs> what if he has little wings? Wait, wait, wait! The bug's alive. The caterpillar with the wings. Oh. I think that he is going to become a full-fledged fly. Full-fledged fly. Full-fledged fly. Full-fledged full fly. Full-fledged fly. Full-fed. Full 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 um, and this is seems to be going down the literal route. Yeah, I hope he doesn't die, and I don't know how he can reverse it. Uh, hopefully he doesn't eat the monkey. I don't know why he would. Oh, and he's eating a lot of sugar. Is that like a sugar fly? Is that a sugar fly thing? Is that a thing? I get the plasma full. Abby, he's psychobabbling. Did you understand anything no. he said? No. Abby, is it proven that flies are paranoid and angry? <laughs> Have they done studies? I don't know. On their brains? Come on, Howard Shore, give us some good music. I haven't heard much. And that wasn't a dig. There hasn't been opportunity. He's gonna recruit people to go into his machine and oh. they're gonna die. <laughs> or take over the world. He's gonna break his arm. Hey, watch out. He's 
It's gonna break through the table. Ooh, maybe there's gonna be bone. Like that weird spot, it and not like up here. Yeah. It was like there. <laughs> Look at his face. I was too busy looking at hers, and I thought hers was bad. That was mean. Also, flies don't have a long span of life. Is he gonna die early because oh. of that? Look at her face. That's what I said. See, I wasn't being mean. No, yeah, she's dirty. <laughs> she's a. Oh my god, he did it again. Oh my god, Abby, I don't know this part. So can I predict with you? Yeah. Fuck her. Is he gonna hurt, kill her on accident? Okay, well it's the next morning, so. Oh good, she's alive. I'm Is it? Don't be afraid. No. <gasps> nice. Be afraid. He's becoming a monster, Frankenstein scientist. <gasps> There's those hair on his oh. nose. Do you think it's gonna just grow back or do you think that it's gonna not cut? I don't know what he's doing. Cutting it. Oh, does it just not cut? Abby, at least he's looking at himself. I thought uh, he didn't know he was gross. Uh huh. <gasps> There's multiple! <laughs> Haley, he's pulling his nail off! <laughs> Don't give us a close up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge? You <laughs> <laughs> And that's, and I've had a pus bubble on my nail before, Abby. And it did that. But less, and he's changing. No, I do Uh-uh. Shut the f- Our front door. I'm sorry, guys. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna puke everywhere. <laughs> I lost my- This is so- <laughs> This is so funny. Like, this is so <laughs> oh, what? I like that they're- This is cool. Yeah, it's really freaking cool. Oh. Oh, what? my Absorb? gosh. What? And- uh, Fusion! What did that mean? Well, because it has to take the... Uh, it takes it apart and puts it back together because it has to recreate it again to get it over to this yeah. area. So it merged, fused them all both together. So he just got fused with... And then he has the same now genetic... Doesn't that... Mo molecular... I just wonder why that's scarier than absorb. I can't... What is going to be seen in here? Food everywhere. Food everywhere. Oh my god, Abby. What is the monkey? Yeah. I'm here. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. Oh my. Guys. I don't like this. Look at his shirt. It has juice all over it. Oh. They're not holding back. Yeah, Abby. The practical effects, how good were they? That was like so good. Yeah. Uh, better than Deadpool. On that subject about the special effects, like, I like when you can kind of see, like, I mean. You know what? I'm going to say. No, I'm going to say it. Like, okay. the prosthetic. Like, you can tell that, it, like, I mean. You could touch it. Yeah, and because it, it's obviously, it's like real. Like, 
his ear just fell off. I feel like I could have still I seen like a little bit like you know like a a, a bump of his ear like barely. But like you still like it's still under there and like that that just shows the art of the makeup and the art of the movie and of movie making. You can't reverse it. I, that's what I was thinking about. There's like not really a cure. <laughs> they could have a whole team of scientists come work on it and it was a worldwide production. Yeah, that's a plot hole, because if you went like national with this, you'd probably have the National Guard in there. Oh, then they'd tear him apart. Yeah, he, that's what he said he didn't want. Oh, okay. Oh God, Abby! Seth? No, 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 up here. No! Shut the. F oh, okay. It's less. Gr <gasps> it's almost that nature. Oh, oh, oh! Did they have? Did they have fly sex? No, I, I don't know. Yeah, they did. They had fly sex, guys. I'm t My body is tense. Yeah, I'm biting my tongue. Oh, me too. I found a good patch. She needs to figure out if it has fly, if it's from the time they had fly sex or not. They are going places with this movie, Abby. Ah! When flies uh, reproduce, I think they reproduce like eggs, or sorry, fish. Oh my God, my vagina just hurt. He, look, he's gonna push on her stomach right now i'm scared is it gonna go like the sound of those balls that get inflated with water when they're in water <laughs> oh here here abby i don't know i don't know if i can do this <laughs> this is this is bad this is horrible <laughs> abby i don't know if i can do it anymore i feel bad and scared and sad play it Play it! Can she stop it? it? No. She can't. Uh, Can she stop? No. 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 Shut the fuck! Abby, shut up! Is it a dream? This must be a dream. This is a dream. Are you okay? Ew. <laughs> gonna have to, we're gonna have to blur so much of this movie. <gasps> okay. Oh my, my vagina! <laughs> this feels gross. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look up all of these fly facts. Like maybe they do only lay one thing. Oh, and... well, I mean that was a dream sequence, so maybe don't worry too much <laughs> about your sadness. <laughs> ah! That looks so good. I want a disc. Give me preliminary and great. And it's like wet. Oh. I did see they won. Voice not recognized. I need to know if this won any awards or... Oh, I will tell you, it got best hair and makeup. Oh. I was just about to say that. <gasps> it was pinky. Oh my God, is... What is that? Is penis? Oh my God, was that a penis? I, bet, I think so. I think Wait. it was. Oh my God. This is so sad. Oh my God. I, how is she enduring this? I want it. Is he gonna freaking kidnap her because she's pregnant? Oh my gosh. Glass squares. I would just say she's really freaked out. Wants it out. Oh my god. Fuck! Guys, 
see? Can they see him? See him jump. See? Oh, <gasps> ew. Oh, there's our glass. Yeah. Wow, I can't, you know what? If I was her acting, I don't know if I could be doing that with him. Because he looks so scary. What is happening? What timeline is this? I think this is right now. And they're on a roof. Yeah, they're on the roof right now. That's what I think. What? Wait. He is making something to splice things. Splice? Look, Haley, the roof. The shadow, I mean. No, you saw a shadow? Yeah. You saw a shadow? God dang it. Oh! Uh-uh, uh-uh, you gonna spit on him? Oh, it burns! Yeah, Abby. It's acid. Oh my god. Do not eat that. Do not eat that. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Oh my god! No! Holy fuck! Oh! with oh my god oh my god he shot with his number oh my god no oh my god so much. I know. I like just, I don't know. It's so sad. Like if his, his old self came back and remember and knew her enough. And she's so sad too. That was crazy. And I don't know what to think. I can't, my heart hurts. I'm, more, I'm more, so sad. And it, so, it was so good. I need to read all about it and figure out what inspired it because it's literally what I literally the said. The cockroach thing. I said metamorphosis and alien. That end was crazy. Are you, do you, yeah, that, I, yeah, that's all I have. Okay. Thanks for watching. Buzz, 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 buzz. These are our eyeballs. These are our eyeballs we can see with because guess what? Buzz, 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 we just watched buzz, buzz. the fly. Disturbing. <gasps> Best movie ever. 
really good. I would like to start off by saying that I'm kind of really smart because in my prediction at the beginning of this video, I said that I'm wondering if it's going to be like Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis, and it literally was. Let me just quick interjection say that Abby didn't just say, I think it's like that story with the cockroach. She said the name Franz Kafka. I've never heard of this. Yeah, my senior year of high school really paid off for that assigned reading. <laughs> After I looked them both up, and there are many articles comparing the two, like obviously because they are like the same type of story, which I just think is so interesting. Some say that The Fly is based off of Metamorphosis, but it's the short story by George Langalanlan, sorry, um, published in Playboy in 1957. You're looking at the last Playboy Playmate there was ever. I have created a new rating system and it is pre and post 2015 movies. I'm saying 2015 because that seems like a good cutoff for like when movies started to suck. Pre-2015 out of 10. I give this movie 10 sisterly cinemas. 10! Me too. Literal horror movie. I was not expecting it to be so horrific and gruesome. The scenes were so intense and Haley and I kept saying, holy crap, they went there. They went there. They really went there. And it's a horror movie with a soul, you know? I think that's like David Cronenberg. We need to, we, Abby and I want to watch all of his movies now because we're obsessed, at least I am, with body horror. Like, I love zombies, and there's a couple movies where it takes place over one person turning into a zombie. You know, they're peeing out maggots. They're uh, losing an eyeball. The stuff like that. And that's his specialty, and we have to get into that. But yeah, his whole thing is like horror movies that are quality. Haley says this all the time, but here I go saying it. They do not make movies like this anymore. The, ah! the real prosthetics, the real goo, it's not CGI. Like he's literally wearing the makeup so it looks so real. Like it's an actual fly human Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, and Abby like you said this, I thought it was a dream of someone smart saying it, but she was like, and you can even kind of see the suit and it's like fine. Yeah, like you could see a little bit of like the plasticky suit, but like not, like it, it was so yes. good. It's immersive, it's more immersive. Ah, that's great, it's immersive. Yes, and I think I have a really good example from a current thing. You haven't seen Stranger Things, but Vecna, uh, he, he's like this gross thing. He's like full of like vines of flesh and it's just, it looks like clay. Like, it, gold bloom is, ugh, ugh. Ugh. So good. Everything is just super stupid clay CGI. Okay, let's get into some of the facts that we researched during this. A lot of them come from um, this YouTuber, Oliver Harper. Shout out Oliver Harper. Just wanted to shout him out because his video is so good. It's um, the retrospective and review of The Fly. So check it out after our video. Yeah. Finish this video, then yeah. check it out. We're gonna start with the budget, box office, and ratings, scores. The Fly had a significant impact on the culture of those days and horror genre. It is cited as one of the best horror films ever made. It has inspired numerous analyses on disease, the human freaking experience, and disease and decay. Some people say it's like a, you know, a bigger thing about cancer, and blah, 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 all that stuff. AIDS. Yeah. Which is interesting. But I'm gonna stick to this guy turned into a fly. The Brundle fly. The Brundle fly. Ew. It was shot in Canada. In Toronto. In the Kleinberg studio. The film's budget is reported between 9 million and 15 million. Abby, what did the box office gross? Um, let me give you some numbers. So domestically, it earned $40 million. <laughs> Internationally, 20 million. Totaling 60 million total. So I think that's a profit. What's 60 million minus 10 million? 51, 50. They made $51 million. <laughs> One million dollars. Three million dollars. <laughs> Chris Wallace was the creator and the designer of the Brundle Fly. And I want to interject. He actually got a lot, like he's in all of the articles. He's mentioned so many times. A lot of the makeup artists, uh, I don't think get as much recognition as him. Um, some of them do like Lord of the Rings and stuff, but like he's like mentioned. And he even directed the second The Fly. So that's pretty crazy. I don't know if he had a, wanted to direct or his stuff, but he went from the makeup artist creator of it to the director what? of it. It won the Academy Award for Best Makeup, thanks to Chris Wallace. And also it won a bunch of like Saturn Awards and other awards for Best Acting and Picture and stuff. But Academy Award, Best Makeup. At the end of the movie, Chris's name was the first one to come up in the credits. And I, that's not you, the makeup artist is not usually first, obviously. And someone who looked at him and said something? The producer, Stuart Cornfield. Cornfelt. 
We're turned to him and said, you will win an Oscar. And he did. Because everybody was clapping when his name came up on the screen in the screenings. Let's get into casting. casting. There's some very interesting, cool things in here. I love knowing who was thought about for parts. So first, David Cronenberg, director. Like Haley said, we need to watch all of his movies because he uh, specializes in body horror and the human fears of body transformation and infection. So Haley and I hate that stuff. So we, we gotta need watch to it. torture ourselves with it. <laughs> um, Mel Gibson and John Travolta were considered to be the brundle fly. Can we please acknowledge that, Mel, like how Joaquin follows us? Mel Gibson, we just did signs. Yeah, follows us. Mel yeah. Gibson could have been brundle fly. <laughs> I've tried to explain to Abby that, like in the olden days, when someone had a failed movie, their hot streak was over and they were not like allowed to be in stuff anymore. Ooh, no, I just used allowed, and that was like an aggressive word, but it says this in the facts. John Carter, perfect example from more recent times. That guy, Taylor Kish from Friday Night Lights, that could have been his huge thing. The movie absolutely failed, biggest loss of money ever. And Taylor now lives in Texas or something um, because he failed. So Hollywood's like, no, he cannot carry a movie. So John Travolta was pitched for this and Fox said he is not allowed because of his failure in his previous movie with us, two of a kind, 1983. David was met with some opposition when he wanted to cast Jeff Goldblum. The executive at Fox um, supervising the project felt that Goldblum wasn't a bankable star. And also Chris Wallace <laughs> felt like his face, Jeff's face, would be too hard to work with for the plot prosthetics, which I think is so interesting. Like, oh, I didn't get the job because my face is too hard to work with to do prosthetics. Obviously, that wasn't the case because Jeff did get the role, but that is so funny. Yeah, and it comes down to that stuff. Yeah. And then also that Chris Wallace is like looking at him like not even as a face, kind of like, okay, that would be hard to do because his, his nose is too big or whatever. <laughs> and then Jeff uh, for Veronica, Gina Davis was casted and Jeff and Gina were actually dating at the time. And Jeff was the one that put her up for the role to David saying, hey, you should cast Gina. David did not want to work with a couple, a real life couple, because of the drama. Obviously. Obviously. After Gina's first reading, David was convinced, so that's how Gina was casted. So I did this one show they filmed in Portland, and it was for, there was a bunch of like celebrities like Scott Bakula, and I was in it with one line, and I got in the makeup trailer. It was one of my first acting jobs, and freaking Gina Davis is next to me, and I was good. I was quiet. I didn't bother her, but like a corner of my eye, I'm watching her. She's just being like a celebrity star, and then the only interaction I had with her besides that was I went in line for coffee at the coffee truck, ordered a coffee. He made a joke. He was like, okay, $5, and I was like, oh. I don't have my wallet. I, I let me go get it. I'm so sorry. I was so embarrassed. And then Gina Davis was behind me and she was like, he's just messing with you because <laughs> it's a free coffee cart, obviously. That was cute and nice. And she spoke words to me. And now you're best friends. Yeah. Now I always sit outside her house every day. She doesn't know it though. Abby, you know how I met Jeff Goldblum? Yeah. 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 He was at his jazz show um, and it was crazy. Watch. Hi, this is Jeff Goldblum and Haley Lottenbeck. Thank you, thank you, Haley. What a wonderful, what a wonderful. Okay, some more interesting people. Two people that were considered for her role were Jennifer Jason Lay. Love her. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, but she's like, I don't. Eh, mm. Casting director me says no. And then, oh my God, Laura Dern, Jurassic Park, my angel baby. Love her. I think she actually would have been really good at that. I'm okay with her being casted. Did, did, did. Oh, Linda Hamilton was also considered. She was the Terminator star. Also would have been great for that, but I do think that she might be a little bit too hard and people might think of her as Terminator hard lady. Linda Hamilton said no because of the disturbing script. Most importantly, the birthing of the maggot. The birthing of the maggot Which baby. Is so disturbing. Yeah. And reading that on the script, and then as she gives birth, a giant maggot comes out. She probably was like, How is it? How are they gonna film that? Yeah, so mm -mm. she said, No thanks. <laughs> Gina Davis, I said She was this, obsessed. I said this, I was like, she looks like an angel compared to like when the Brundlefly was the Brundle. was becoming the Brundlefly. The juxtaposition of him and her. It was great. I think she was great. And she does have like a perfect combination of the angelic and then also like a hard lady. Yeah. Like she like can hold her own, which yeah. she does. Okay, now for the music and the score and the composer. I was shocked when the name came up. Howard Shore. Lord of the Rings, the most best score soundtrack ever. His music in the fly is praised for his melancholic. Is that how you say it? Melancholic. Melancholic. 
<laughs> tones, <laughs> tones, and contributing significantly to the film's whole atmosphere. It really did. The only thing I didn't like th during the movie is I was like, I can't find like a theme, just a couple of notes, but I take it back. It's the most perfect score. Brian Ferry made a song for the movie that apparently was really good, but David Cronenberg said it wasn't like, uh, it was kind of cheesy to play during the credits, so he took it out, but it's played in the bar scene. So good job, Brian Ferry. Let's get into style and makeup. The best part of the movie. Yeah. So of course the film is known, like we've said, for its renowned groundbreaking makeup. The transformation of Seth Brundle into the Brundle fly was revolutionary and grotesque. Why is Brundlefly so gross? It's it so gross. It's, not... it's a merge between his and his, the human and the fly. So it's it... him becoming the human and the fly together. So it's Brundlefly. It's I... disgusting. <laughs> well, I think it's also because instead of like um, changing his name, like I'm a, I'm Brundlefly now. He calls it the Brundlefly. Yeah, the Br like the... I'm, I'm I'm the Brundlefly. Like he's like a different. <clears throat> yeah. It took nearly five hours to get Jeff Goldblum into his official last transformation makeup. Chase, will you insert a fact saying how long the whale took to put Brendan Fraser in that for comparison? At the final Brundlefly stage, it was a combination of various insect parts. The creators didn't want it to be too reminiscent of any single insect. Like the original movie. But a horrifying amalgamation, however, amalgamation. Amalgamation. Amalga anyway. <laughs> of multiple insects. The fly's vomit was made of honey, eggs, and milk. Also, when he vomits, oh, it's horrible. When he vomits in front of uh, Veronica and she just starts crying and like... There's just something about that. Like, it is such a real reaction. And it's like, I'm imagining a boyfriend I love so much just like decomposing in front of you and like that's such a real reaction she just starts crying just like what the f is happening and first you let out a giggle because he's just looking at her and then he goes Bleh. yeah like it's so it's so absurd and it's like it's and so that's what that's part of the like the oh they went there like he just it's like he just oh it's just it's horrible just so sad also i want to insert from our halloween vlog we saw all those props of vomit and oh yeah we saw the prop house of these containers that make vomit and stuff like that. I love like special effects and stuff. And so Stathis, the ex-boyfriend of Ron. The villain turned hero. Yeah, the villain turned hero. Um, his hand effect was created by sculpting the mutilated hand, then building up an intact hand on top out of gelatin. And then the gelatin was melted using stage lights and in a hairdryer and Motion. filmed it filmed at, in slow motion and then sped up. And then Veronica ripping off a Brundlefly's jaw took two weeks to film. I don't know why or what, but that's crazy. Probably just getting it correct. Mm -hmm. uh, just From my movie knowledge um, and being on set, I also have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the exact reason that Seth Brundle's head becomes so enlarged in the final sequence is because... There's two large compound eyes in the back of his head that are revealed when he goes into his final form. And if you look closely in some of the scenes, you can see the bulge on the back of his head. No! I know, the bulge! Oh. Um, and David Cronin and Ennenberg said that he did it like that because in the original The Fly movie, uh, the head of the fly is the same size as a human head. And he's like, science wouldn't work like that. We don't know. Why would it be the same size as a human head when it turns into a fly head? Ah! <laughs> Random fact time, random. my favorite time, because this is where all the random facts come out. Like Haley was just talking about the original 1958, The Fly, the concept was he, his body parts were just turning into fly body parts. So like his head turned into a fly head, his arm turned into a fly arm, but David wanted to go crazy gruesome, obviously like he did, and he wanted to create a mutated fly human, which incredible. So I just think that's really interesting. And I guess in the original movie, there's a scene where like he's looking at his girlfriend through fly eyes and it's like a bunch of, you know, shards of the same image. But David's like, nah, every single shard image would be a whole different image. Then anyway, interesting. Now, Gina Davis was not acting when Jeff Goldblum's ear fell off. Her reaction was genuine. She was genuinely shocked when they were filming it because, yeah, someone's ear just fell off right in front she of her. She loves. And she loves him because they were dating at the time. And so David kept that true reaction in the film, which is great. But, uh, yeah. My only bone 
to pick question with that is I wonder if that was like something they said in an interview and it was like a good buzzword. Well, exactly. That's what I was just thinking. Really? I was just thinking that. Yeah. And I was like, whatever. Well, yeah. Cause I, I like I, in the script, you know, it's going to say like, and then his ear falls off mm -hmm. or yeah. when they're rehearsing, how do they not yeah. mention yeah. that part? Cause they have to rehearse yeah. and show like the and, angles. Like, uh, I listen to a lot of like behind the scenes podcasts for like shows and stuff. And a lot of times they're like, oh yeah, I improv that line. And it's like, Okay, you might have improved it, but that might not be the scene that you improved it. You improved it, and so then the uh, director goes, "Oh my gosh, that was great! Let's do it again." So it's like, how do you know if it's the actual right. real improv or the one that they saw you improv? So then they wanted to film it again. So. Yeah. Anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, this is crazy. Stathis, evil villain turned hero. His fate is foreshadowed um, throughout the movie. Every time he talks to Brundle, his right hand is in his pocket, making it look like he doesn't have a hand. And that's his ultimate fate in the end, which I, I wonder if that was like a, a true decision on the part of David. Or the actor, because actors or get really actor. weird. Like, yeah, I yeah. did that because... Uh, because my hand was going to be missing. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so if it was, and not just like an accidental, like, oh, that's his character, like he's just going to have... Really cool. It's also even cool if it was, was accidental. Yeah, so either way... Cool. So there's this whole Mel Brooks connection, who was a comedic actor from back in the day. I actually don't know much about him, but I know the name Mel Brooks. Um, he came on to produce the movie. He didn't want his name to be known, though, because he is known for his comedy. But he was a producer on it. And Mel Brooks says that, and the line, be afraid, be very afraid, is from Mel Brooks describing how you should feel when he's transforming. And then Gina Davis says it. So that's where that line originated from. Cameo alert, David Cronenberg puts himself in his movie. So shout out to our old selves that were like, I wonder if any other directors do that besides M. Night. Yeah, and here he is, David doing it. He was the gynecologist in the dream of the baby scene. Yeah. And Gina actually requested that because uh, she wanted somebody she knew to be up in her JJ. Um, <laughs> and then also David had the idea for this because when he met, I think it was Scorsese, Scorsese wanted to meet him. And he said that David looked like a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Yes, surgery. yes. Good job. Yeah. That was All right. Let's sit tight and let's listen to this, Haley. Go okay. for it. Oh, okay. This is cut from the movie for many reasons. Abby watched the scene. I did not. I think I'd be too disturbed. And every single article like mentions this. It was cut because it was so disturbing. Audiences said that that this scene took all of Seth's humanity away and he was no longer like likable or rooted for. Um, so let me describe it. The infamous cat monkey scene where Brundlefly fuses a cat in the remaining baboon and then beats it to death with a lead pipe was cut following a Toronto screening. According to the producer Stuart Cornfield, the audience felt that there was no turning back for Seth as, and they lost all sympathy for his plight, which caused the rest of the film to not play as well. In Cornfield's own words, if you beat an animal to death, even a monkey cat, your audience is not gonna be interested in your problems anymore. Boom, mic drop, cause true, you don't wanna see that. I don't know. Everything else is disturbing. I don't really understand. I guess this does take his humanity away. Animal animal cruelty is nothing to play with in movies because people will churn on you. That is so true. I don't care if a person dies, but a dog. Mm -mm. Yeah. There's one other scene that was in the script, but not shot. Uh, Brundle flies digging around in the garbage, eating some food. There's a homeless woman. He barfs on her face and uh, she her face is melting. He's about to eat it, but then he realizes how gross that is and like has a shock of like who how he's he become which would have been cool to see him act that way because yeah the same way gina reacts to his ear falling off like his reaction to himself would be so crazy also love that in the vhs scene dream sequence that when he throws up on the food and eats it uh What's that guy's name? That bad guy? Stathis. Stathis. Uh, it shows Stathis' face, but it doesn't show the screen of how he's eating yeah. it. Yeah. I love that because yeah. like, you have to imagine it and how gross it is because of his reaction. So cool. Yeah. I love when like the decision is made that you don't need to see everything, that you just maybe need to see the actor's reaction. Like that. Just yeah. like art. Art form. Art form at its finest. Okay. Our last fact. There were multiple different endings to how the movie was going to end. Um, one of them was Veronica was going to have a dream and it was going to be her giving birth to this baby butterfly thing um, and then wake up and she was in bed with Stathis. But after test audiences were so shocked with the um, actual ending with um, her shooting Brundlefly and that whole emotional sequence, they didn't want to insert this scene at the end because they thought it just took away from all the climactic 
um, stuff that just happened and they didn't want her to really end up with Stathis yeah. because it just, it, it ruined the, it would, it would have ruined the whole thing. Then. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay, well now she's with Stathis. Yeah. And like, oh, he was there all along. Like Jeff had a reason to be worried. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I, it would, it would literally not be the same movie. It ends so abruptly with just after shooting, she's crying. It, I mean, it's happening again. What? Are you crying? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's finish this real quick. They used puppets for the last evolution of Brundlefly, and that is just really cool. There was three people underneath the floor controlling the Brundlefly, and then during lunch, people would forget that they were down there. Oh. What? (laughs) And they were covered in so much uh, blood and goo. Oh, this was during the monkey part, because the blood is pulsating from the monkey goo, and they're down there controlling it. And then at lunch, they would forget about them. Oh. Oh no. Probably just like a funny fact that someone said in an interview and they got out of the dungeon eventually, but. (laughs) Well, hopefully, hopefully they're not still down there. All right, so, so good. If you haven't seen it, please watch it. I hope you have seen it. It's on HBO right now. I hope you enjoyed such a good movie. It is so good. Biz, 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 biz. Um, All right, I gotta go biz over to a flight. Um, I have to go drive her. I love you. We love you. If you love us, thumbs up, like. And subscribe. Subscribe. Um, the thumbs up like helps a lot. You know, I didn't think I would say this in our series of YouTube videos, but it matters. Yeah. It does help. So thank you if you do that. Yeah. Um, and we will we'll see you next time in a vlog or another sisterly cinema. Woo! Bye. Buzz, buzz. Okay. Bye.